We've been living in our house for about five years now, and we have a LiftMaster garage door opener, but I've never had a remote keypad. I'm gonna show you today the steps you need to purchase the correct keypad and to get it programmed to operate your garage door. You need to research the type of garage door opener system you have to find out exactly which keypads will work with it. I have a LiftMaster garage door opener made by Chamberlain, so I purchased a LiftMaster keypad. I know that LiftMaster makes quality products, so that's what I decided to go with. In the box, I have two screws to mount it to the wall with. It's got bubble wrap to protect it. It has a nice weight to it. This one has a flip-up cover. I prefer the flip-up cover to the slide-up cover because it actually stays open when you open it. I found that the slide-up covers slide back down over the top while you're trying to program it. This one came with a battery installed. It has the program instructions right here on the top flap so that you don't have to keep up with the paperwork that went with it. And today we're going to go ahead and program this unit and get it set up. My unit has a front and back panel with lights in both. And if you see the black tabs on this unit, you simply pull the white plastic away from the black tabs. They're not buttons, this just slips down over it and it reveals the back of the unit. You can see my learn button right here is purple. So I know that I need to follow the instructions for the purple code. The fourth step on the programming for this device requires that you know the color of the learn button on your garage door opener. Yellow, purple, red, orange, or green. As you saw, my button is purple, so when I get to that step, I'm gonna press the enter key two times before proceeding to press and release the zero button. First, I'm gonna press and hold the star and pound buttons until the lights stop blinking. Next, I'm gonna enter my four digit pin. Next, I press the pound button. Now I press the enter button the number of times that correspond with my garage door opener type. So I'm gonna press the enter button two times. I'm gonna press and release zero, then press and release the learn button one time on the garage door opener. Now I enter the four digit pin and press and release the enter button until the garage door opener lights flash or two clicks are heard. My unit is now set up to open the garage door. We'll give it a test to see how it worked. To test our programming, I'm gonna enter the four digit code and press enter and see if the garage closes. So the programming did work. The next step is to mount our garage door opener on the side of the garage so that it can be accessed when outside the garage. This particular unit comes with two screws and if you look on the back, it has two holes. One on the top that's a keyhole where the screw slides in and slides up and then the other one is a set hole that holds it in place. So you want to, unscrew, want to install the top screw first and then the bottom screw to hold everything in place. The top screw doesn't have to go through to the device, but the other one does. So if you remove the battery cover and pull the battery out, you'll see that there's access to the screw hole right here on the bottom of the device. So first we're gonna figure out where we want this mounted. We're gonna install the top screw and then I'll install the bottom screw once it's hanging on the wall. All right, I'm now ready to place the hole for my top screw. So I'm gonna put the LiftMaster remote about where I want it. Make sure you consider the height of the people who will need access to it. If you want a younger person to have access to it, you need to put it a little bit lower. I'm gonna put it um, just below eye level for myself. And I'm just gonna put it right in the center and lift it up to the side to see about how high the hole needs to be. And I'm gonna place my screw right in the center of this wall.
Might be helpful to pre-drill the hole, but I'm gonna try to just go straight in. Keep in mind this first screw does not get screwed all the way in to the wall because the, the remote is gonna sit on top of it. Now you just sit the remote on top and slide it down into place till it locks into place. And you're ready to install the lower screw. Remove your battery cover, slide the battery to the side, get your remote nice and straight, and screw this screw straight into the hole in the bottom. You can give your remote a wiggle to make sure that it's nice and snug. Replace your battery cover and test your opener to make sure that it's working. This is an easy addition to any home with an electric garage door opener. We wish we would have done it sooner. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see a video showing how to replace or repair a leaky irrigation head, click the video in the top left. See a way to repair your air conditioner when the fan stops spinning, click the video in the top right. Hope you guys have a great day.